During the recession, a lot of companies thought the full-size SUV market was dead. But Chevy was one of the only brands that continued to develop a next-generation model. So now that gas prices have gone back down, they are enjoying strong sales, while rivals, in some cases, continue to sell decade-old models. That said, Chevy's not content to just sit on its haunches. So for 2017, they have continued to make small changes throughout. This review will cover all three trims of the Tahoe, including the LS, LT, and the Premier, which we have with us today. So let's see what has made the Tahoe the king of the full-size SUV market. We are pleased to announce our new partnership with Sutherland Chevrolet in Nicholasville, Kentucky. If you would like to check out their beautiful dealership and extensive inventory of new Chevys, then we have provided a link to their website in the video description. One of the changes for 2017 is that the LTZ trim has been replaced by Premier. This change is happening on most Chevy models. We have Chevy's newest key fob design, which has a really nice solid feel in the hand. Remote start is included on the LT and up. Only the Premier gets smart entry. Just press this button to lock and unlock the doors. Now let's pop the hood and see what powers this large SUV. Under the hood, you will continue to find Chevy's high-tech 5.3-liter V8 engine, which produces 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. That engine is mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission and your choice of rear or four-wheel drive for all trims. Chevy deployed several fuel-saving techniques to the Tahoe, including new active grille shutters plus the active fuel management system it already had. They together get the two-wheel drive model 16 City 23 Highway 19 combined and 16 City 22 Highway 18 combined for the four-wheel drive. Now let's check out the exterior design and features. The styling of the Tahoe hasn't changed since it debuted a couple years ago. That said, it's still the freshest product in the class, and its grille nicely matches with other Chevy products. LS and LT trims get a chrome grille with a black interior, whereas this Premier gets a fully chrome grille. The headlights on the Premier are HIDs with LED daytime running lights. The other two trims get halogen projector beams, and auto high beams are included on the LT and Premier. These fog lamps are on the Premier only.
For ground clearance, you have a reasonable 7.9 inches, which is good for most mild off-roading situations. There are three special edition models available on LT, called Texas, Signature, and Midnight Editions. They mostly just add content, but there are some visual differences. There are tons of optional wheels to pick between, and we have one of them. These are 22-inch six-spoke alloy wheels with chrome inserts, available for a cool 2500 bucks. Believe it or not, there are some other ones available for $3,000. The standard wheels on the Premier are 20-inch polished aluminum wheels, and the LT and LS both get 18-inch aluminum wheels. The brakes are 13-inch ventilated disc brakes in the front, and 13.6-inch ventilated disc brakes in the rear. The tires are all seasoned. All models have heated mirrors, while the Premier has power folding and auto dimming mirrors. The top is also chrome on this model, and body colored on the LS and LT. Next to the turn signal is the blind spot monitor. This indicator lights up when a vehicle enters into your blind spot. It's standard on Premier. Chevy nicely includes running boards on every trim level but they are chrome on Premier, and they can be power folding optionally. The Tahoe is 204 inches long, which is pretty much the same as the competitors. The Premier trim will also include magnetic ride control, which reduces body roll and helps ride quality, among other things. This is the same kind of system you see in Corvettes or even Ferraris. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety has not rated the Tahoe, but the large size plus active safety technologies like automatic braking and lane keep assist will keep you pretty safe. They come standard on LT and above. Of course the Tahoe has the traditional boxy appearance that owners like so much. The taillights are fully LED on the Premier. I'm not entirely sure if the other trims have these same ones. We have an optional chrome tipped exhaust pipe and the standard spare tire. Our particular Tahoe has the maximum trailering package and it can tow up to 8,400 pounds. Two wheel drive models can tow up to 8,600 pounds. So this is definitely an area where having a true SUV excels over a crossover. The wiper is protected under the rear spoiler. Roof rails are standard, but they are chrome only on the Premier. All Tahoes have a 26 gallon fuel tank, which gets you 494 miles of range for the rear wheel drive model, and 268 miles for the four wheel drive. That pretty much does it for the outside, so let's go ahead and hop inside. The Tahoe's interior is as luxurious as it is big. Our top-end Premier is the nicest of them all, with standard leather and three interior color choices. Cocoa Dune, which is what we have, Jet Black, or Mahogany. 
The LT also gets leather, but loses the mahogany color choice. The door trim is also quite nice, with stitched leather where you rest your arm, and more soft materials all through here. This wood trim is included on the LT and Premier. The windows are fully automatic in the front and auto down in the rear. All but the base model also get two-person memory functions, which link the seat, steering wheel, mirror, and pedal positioning. The driver's seat on our Premier Tahoe is 12-way power with 4-way lumbar. The other two trims will sacrifice just a little bit and get 10-way power seats. The perforated leather is nice, and overall the seat is very comfortable. It can also vibrate to take the place of warning tones for the safety systems. As far as getting in, it's very easy. When you first get into the Tahoe, you are greeted by a comfortable, spacious, and welcoming cabin. If you own a previous generation Tahoe, you'll notice a big difference in materials. The entire upper dash is soft touch plastic with contrast stitching, and this area is all leather and that flows all the way down through here. Everything does fit together really well. Push button start is standard on our Premiere and is optional on LT. This 8 inch screen however is standard across the board. It was added as a standard feature last year. The startup is refined, but you can still hear the burble of the V8. These are the standard gauges, but on the Premiere you can option for a larger screen and a heads up display like you find on the Yukon Denali. Regardless, the screen shows more than enough information, including things like navigation. The steering wheel is electric power and fed through this standard leather wrap steering wheel. It has nice double stitching and aluminum accenting. Cruise control is standard and an adaptive system can be had on the Premier. This is for your collision warning and the standard heated steering wheel is a Premier exclusive. To the right you have the rest of your everyday controls. The audio functions are controlled back here. Power adjustability comes on the Premiere. Surprisingly, rain sensing wipers are actually standard on every trim level. Over here you have some safety system buttons and parking sensors. We also have power adjustable pedals. They come on LT and Premiere. This controller is included in the trailering package. All Tahoes get this column mounted shifter to allow for more storage. You can still shift manually by using these toggles. And this button will put you into a special trailering mode. When you shift into reverse, a standard backup camera will appear. It's large, high resolution, and there is nice trajectory. There is no 360 degree option, however.
Storage space in an SUV this size should be good, and the Tahoe doesn't disappoint. Just like on the related Silverado, the center console is massive. It could easily stow something like a purse or a laptop. A 12 volt outlet and the first of many charging USBs are in here. And speaking of charging, you also get this wireless charging pad on Premiere. Not all phones are compatible, but it's still a nice touch. These covers are only on the Premiere. And in this area, there are even more USBs. As they say on QVC, but wait, there's more. Push this button and the screen will slide upwards to give you a hidden area for valuables and the fifth USB port. Tri-Zone Climate Control is a standard feature for all Tahoes, and you adjust it through these big knobs. They have a rubber coating on them, so they are easy to grab, and adjustments also show up on the screen. The rear's climate controls can be adjusted up here through these toggles. Pressing this button locks the rear out from making their own adjustments. Three-stage seat heating is standard on LT and Premier, and you can even pick what area you want. Premier also adds three-stage cooling. The LS's audio system gets six speakers, the LT's is nine speakers, and the Premier's is a 10 speaker Bose center point sound system. This system makes for some pretty good sound quality, despite the large cabin. All of your knobs and buttons are big and easy to use, which owners will appreciate. Now that we've covered most of the interior, it's time to take a look at the infotainment. Only Tahoe Premiers come standard with integrated navigation, but they all get Chevy's MyLink system. Let's take a quick look at it. The Chevy MyLink system is very similar to the GMC and Buick IntelliLink systems, and that's a good thing since it's one of the best offerings out there. Everything is quick, touch responsiveness is good, and features like pinch to zoom are supported. Lining the top are shortcuts to different parts of the system, like phone. Now here in audio, you can play, pause, and skip track straight from the screen with the standard Bluetooth. Next we'll look at phone. You can scroll through your synced contacts from your phone, or just dial manually through this pad. There is also text message support. Projection is where the standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay systems show up when you connect your phone via USB. I won't demonstrate it now, but we do have a separate video covering all those features. Next, let's take a look at the integrated navigation. The map is clear and scrolling is smooth. Also, like I said, pinch to zoom is supported. Finally, let's quickly discuss OnStar. OnStar. From here you have many different features including the well-known 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. You can say, hands-free calling, turn-by-turn directions, Wi-Fi settings. Please see the owner This is where you find the password to sign into that, and you get a three-month trial period. That's all we're going to cover in this video, but if you'd like to take a deeper look into the Chevy MyLink system, 
be sure to watch our dedicated tech help video that discusses all the features, settings, and OnStar subscription. A link is provided in the description. This auto dimming rear view mirror is standard on the top two trims. And you get three months of the full OnStar services included for free. Here is your sunglass holder, and it also has a conversation mirror built in. This knob adjusts your tailgate height and can open it if pushed. And you have universal garage door openers on the LT and Premier. This power moonroof is optional on even the Premier trim, and it costs about $1,000. There is no panoramic option because of the rear entertainment system. So overall, the Tahoe's cabin exceeds expectations, since it gives you what you would expect from a luxury SUV and not a mainstream Chevy. It's spacious, supremely comfortable, and filled to the brim with technology and luxury features three years after its debut, no less. So well done, Chevy. That beeping you hear is the new for 2017 rear seat reminder. It beeps reminding you to check the back seats if the rear doors have been opened during or before the latest startup. Now I'll go ahead and turn it over to my brother, who will show you the rest of the Tahoe. That smart entry system on the Premier works on the rear doors too. As expected with a luxury SUV, the materials follow through from the front. There's lots of padded leather and soft-touch plastic. Your windows back here are auto-down, and you've got a cup holder here. Plus some wood and some storage areas on the door. In the back of the Tahoe, you'll find a good 39 inches of legroom, and 38.7 inches of headroom. That puts it right on par with the Expedition, and it is a little less than the Suburban counterpart. The seats back here are just as comfortable as the front, which is definitely a pro. And these captain's chairs come standard on the Premier. We have a fully loaded model, which also has this rear seat entertainment system. You get this 8-inch screen, a remote control, and it can play Blu-ray discs. All Tahoe's get these rear vents that can be twisted and adjusted. And you've got an assist grip. The headliner is also pretty nice. Now down here in the center, you'll find some climate controls. These will be on every Tahoe, and functionality is quite simple. Three stay cheated rear seats are only on the Premier. There are also lots of connections, like a couple USBs, an HDMI, a household outlet, and a 12 volt power outlet. Legroom is very generous behind my brother's seating position, and there's plenty of space for my feet. There's around 4 inches of legroom left over with the seat all the way back. So summed up, the Tahoe's second row is quite pleasant, especially in the Premier trim. Similar to the front, you've got lots of space, luxury, and comfort.
With the fob, you can open the tailgate, or just the glass. This is pretty rare for SUVs nowadays, so it's nice that you have the option. Once you get into the cargo area, you'll find between 15.3 and 94.7 cubic feet depending on your seating configurations. That makes it much smaller than the Expedition, Sequoia, and the bigger Suburban. There's a 12 volt power outlet, and the third row is power folding on the Premier. Just push the button and the seats quickly get into place. Getting into the third row is pretty easy. Just push this button and the seat automatically folds out of the way. In the third row you have 24.8 inches of legroom, which is rather cramped. You'll find yourself very uncomfortable in the Tahoe's third row, with hardly any leg room and quite possibly the worst thigh support I've ever seen. It does have a 12 volt outlet, some cup holders, vents, and a light. If you plan on having people in the third row regularly, get the Suburban. The passenger seat is actually identical to the driver's, being 12-way power with 4-way power lumbar. The glove box is decently sized and heavily dampened. I really like how the leather flows seamlessly from here all the way to the dash. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed this detailed, in-depth look at the 2017 Chevy Tahoe Premier. Stay tuned for the pricing information regarding the entire range of Tahoes, as well as the loaded up model review today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and come along with us next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.